So because it's Mental Health Awareness Month, I wanted to close out this month with a really interesting fact about Rachmaninoff and one of the most loved pieces in the history of piano repertoire. We're talking about Rachmaninoff Piano Concerto Number no. 2 in C minor. And I don't know if you know this, I didn't know this until recently, that Rachmaninoff actually wrote this piece for his therapist. This is very unique because historically, pieces of that magnitude during that time were never written for like regular people. It was written for like the church or God or the king or very, very wealthy aristocrats. So this was a very special concerto because it was truly written out of love for his therapist. I had no idea. So backing up, in 1897, Rachmaninoff is in his 20s and composed his very first symphony. Premieres it, goes horribly. Like, people hated it. The audience hated it. It was so traumatic for him that he almost never composed again. Can you imagine if we lost Rachmaninoff as a composer in his 20s? His family, thank God, reached out to a family friend who is a therapist slash hypnotist, and Rachmaninoff works with him every day for months. He recovers. He is able to get the help he needs, and because of this, he writes his next piece, which is Piano Concerto Number no. 2 in C minor. You can hear the love in it. And if you don't know this piece, do yourself a favor and listen to it. There are actual recordings of Rachmaninoff playing his own concerto because he wrote and performed during a time where they have audio recordings. So listen to his. <laughs>